Hey Mikes, welcome back to your daily SVTV report. I'm Mason. And I'm Zara. Today we'll find out more about Kiss the Pig, which starts on Monday. And we look more into Augie's report for yearbook scholarships. Your SVTV starts now. We talked to Van Gordon about to learn more about Kiss the Pig. Hey Vikes, today we're going to be talking to Mrs. Van Gordon. He's going to tell us more about Kiss the Pig. Yeah, Kiss the Pig is a fundraiser we've done now for four years. And what we do is we pair two teachers up against each other. This year we have 14 different teachers, so seven pairs. Um, and they're on flyers all around the school. And the teachers have uh, little signs that say, Pig me to be your Valentine in their rooms if they're participating. And so you compare it, we put them against each other. And whoever raises the most money is saved from kissing the pig. So if you really want your favorite teacher to kiss the pig, you're going to find the other teacher and put money in their jar. All right. Can you tell us more about where the money goes towards? Yeah. The money all goes to a place called SCARS, which is Second Chance Animal Rescue in Auburn, Kansas. And what they do is it's actually a big ranch. We actually do some volunteering there as the seniors. Um, but there's a big ranch that has a bunch of dogs on it, and they rescue dogs from all over the state, even though they try to stay local. And they're really struggling for money, and so that's where all of our money goes to. Last year, you guys raised $1,900 wow. for them. And so we would really like to hit that again and maybe go a little above, but our more realistic is $1,500. So we're really hoping to make a good impact in their finances. All right, well, it sounds fun. Thank you, Mrs. Van Gordon. Make sure to put your money in the jar of your favorite teacher. And to the teachers, good luck. If you're taking college courses with Washburn University View, Thursday, February 15th is the last day to sign up for your payment plan. Also, Augie did a report on the yearbook scholarships. Let's go to him to find more about it. What's up, Vikes? I'm Augie, and today we're going to learn more about how some of you guys can get a yearbook for a cheaper price. Let's go learn more. Unfortunately, our store was struck by fire in February, so it was actually closed for almost six months. So we just felt like uh, when the store had a grand opening, we wanted to do something to give back and make sure everyone knew that we were open and just give them one more reason to shop at our stores. Hegg Oil Company has donated the money to Seaman High School to give qualifying students a reduced rate on their yearbook. What it's used for is hopefully to get reduced rates for kids who have trouble affording a yearbook. And so it's something I've always wanted to do. And so when these wonderful people came up with this idea, I was just tickled. Because I wish I could be like Oprah and say, you get a yearbook, you get a yearbook, you get a yearbook. I think everybody should have a yearbook but I know that the cost is prohibitive for some, so that's what I'm excited about. They can get an application form from me in this room, or they can go down to the counselor's office, and Ms. Wink has some down there also. We have to see that there's some financial need. We have to know that you're active at Seaman High School, and we also look at your discipline points and attendance, so we want to make sure that you're in good standing. Get the form from Mrs. Nyman in C2 and turn it in if you would like the scholarship. This has been Augie Chappas signing off for SVTV. Don't forget these are due tomorrow. The next Afterglow meeting will be in the Commons Thursday at 7 p.m. during parent-teacher conferences. On Thursday, Pi 5 will be donating 20% of sales to the Lady Vikes supporters, so make sure to support the team. An assembly will be held March 2nd during a seminar about suicide awareness. S students are encouraged to fill out a survey that's been posted on Schoology. If you're interested in internships next year, go on to Schoology and follow the, follow the links for either the fall or the spring semester or the summer application. Applications must be returned by February 28th. Are you interested in teaching? Then sign up for the Emporia State Future, Ke Future Teacher Foundation and four-day programs held by Emporia State. The application forms are in Ms. Marshbank's room and these are due August 20th. Now let's go to Mason to find more about wrestling. From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee
Girls interested in swimming or diving can attend one of the informational meetings on Wednesday. Freshmen will meet in the West Commons at 1050, while sophomores, juniors, and seniors will meet in room 911 at 310. If you are unable to go, see Mr. Tuck after February 14th to sign up and get information. The wrestling JV ended the season with a strong finish, having two individuals champion and a 24-21 total match record of the day. Congrats to the team. Now let's see how Zara is doing with the weather. Mike's, here's your daily forecast. Right now it's 32 degrees and tonight it'll be 58. We have highs in the 60s and then it'll go down to the 30s with lows in the 10s and 20s. Today is Sophia Lilith's 16th birthday as well as National Safer Internet Day. Now let's go back to your anchors. That's all we have for you today, Mike's. Don't forget to submit your money for Kiss the Pig today. <laughs> 